All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures, Basic JavaScript, Iterate with JavaScript Do While Loops. All right. So the next type of loop that we're going to learn is called a do while loop. It's called a do while loop because it will first do one pass of the code inside the loop, no matter what, and then continue to run the loop while the specific, pardon me, the specified conditions evaluate to true. So basically, before we get into the rest of this, uh, a perfect example of this would be like a password thing. Like if we go over here and put in our password and we get it wrong, it'll come back and say, oh, you did it wrong. Do it again. And it'll keep saying that until you get it right, then it'll break out of the code. And then if you get it wrong again, it'll keep doing it. But like it'll say maybe like you only can do it five times or on the fifth time, it'll say you're locked out or something like that. So that's that's basically what a do while would do. So let's get back into it. Uh, const our array equals an empty array like this. We've got let i equals zero, and then we'll do our array dot push i, and then i plus plus. And then while i is less than five, we're going to do it again and again and again. All right. So in the example above, uh, it behaves similar to other types of loops, while the and the resulting array will look like this: zero, one, two, three, four, because you know it's less than five, and so it's easy to do that. However, what makes the do while different from other loops is how it behaves when the condition fails on the first check, like when you get the password wrong the first time. So let's see this in action. Here's a regular while loop that will run the code in the loop as long as i is less than five. So we've got const our arrays, the empty array, and then we'll let i equals five, which is already equal to five. So this is definitely not going to work. Well, we don't even need to go through this while loop. We already understand that. Uh, in this example, we initialize the value of our array to an empty array and the value of i to five. So when we execute the while loop, the condition evaluates to false because i is not less than five. So we do not execute the, pardon me, execute the code inside the loop. The result is that our array will end up with no values added to it, and it will still look like an empty array when all the code in the example above has completed running. So now we're gonna take a look at a do while loop like this. So we've got const our arrays empty array. We've got let i equal five. And we'll say do our array dot push i. And then we'll have i plus plus. And then while i is less than five, we'll uh, keep doing it. But since i will be six, since we already added one to it, it's just going to have that first i, in, excuse me, that first five in there. And that's going to be it. So let's reiterate that. In this case, we initialize the value of i to five. And just like we did in the while with the while loop, when we, pardon me, just like we did with the while loop, uh, when we get to the next line, there is no condition to evaluate. So we go to the code inside the curly braces and execute it. We will add a single element to the array and then increment i before we get to the condition check. And then we'll finally evaluate the condition i is less than five on the last line. Mm, oh, when we finally <laughs> evaluate the condition i is less than five on the last line, we see that i is now six, which fails the conditional check. So we exit the loop and are done. At the end of the above example, the value of our array is five like that, right? Just an array with five is the only element. So essentially a do while loop ensures that the code inside the loop will run at least once. So let's try getting a do while loop to work by pushing values into an array. We're going to change the while loop in the code to a do while loop. So the code will push only the number 10 to my array and I will be equal to 11 when our code is finished running. OK, so basically for this one, all we got to do is come up here and say do. Not foe, come on now, do. And then we'll just take this stuff right here because that's all we got to do. We'll take this, put it up here, and then bring this while up just for formatting sake. And it looks pretty much exactly like this. So let's come down here and do a console.log, console.log. And we'll say my array to check it out. And you see 10 is the only element in the array, which means we did what we needed to do. So let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to replace loops using recursion. And we'll see you next time.